Hello and welcome to Scientific Lead 2. Today, after about two hours so far, I'm trying to show you the face of a magnet through a slide, through a piece of flash glass on the front, whatever it's called. This is 2.2 of a millimetre. This slide is a millimetre, so if I put two slides together, I'll have a millimetre clearance. But when I turn this over, I am 0.2 millimetres away from the base of that magnet when I put the magnet on. Now what I want to prove today is that there is no vortex on a magnet. Now a vortex, a real vortex, starts off at point zero and then goes outwards. That's how a vortex works. A vortex should not get wider at the bottom. Let's see if our vortex, supposed vortex, gets wider. Okay, so 0.2 millimeters away. So I'll show you the vortex, then I'm going to come up and you're going to see the vortex get smaller. And as I go down, the vortex gets bigger. So I'm going to push this down now and the vortex gets bigger, come up, smaller, bigger down, up, smaller. So that alone proves that this is not a vortex. The vortex is created this is the north face. On the north face is a north field which goes across the magnet down and wraps into the south field at the inertial line. But on top of this there's also a south field. So the south field on the bottom is repelling the south field on the top. So it springs up and curls around and creates a vortex. Which is why it gets smaller, sorry, that's why it gets bigger the closer I get to the magnet. Now I'm going to put it on the magnet. And we get a 3D effect, which I'm going to try and show you now. It looks like the Hourglass Nebula. Even though it's only 0.2 of a millimeter, this looks like there's at least a centimetre of depth that is in this picture. And it looks like, as I say, the Hourglass Nebula. I'm really hoping you can see it. I'm supposed to be 11 inches away. This is on wide. As you can see, hopefully, that double ring looks like two rings sat on top of one another. I am so not sure if I'm getting this because my camera is so small with a little screen on the back. But there we go, that's 0.2 of a millimetre in depth but the actual illusion that is on top is of the hourglass nebula galaxy whatever it is and uh, it looks it's like it's about a centimetre deep so if you look carefully it looks like it curls in and curls out, comes down and in, and then there's one on the ground. But this top circle goes down as if it's a Fibonacci curve, which I believe it is. So, excuse any shaky hands and stuff here. But so far it's took me two hours to try and get the right shot. So I'm hoping we're gonna get this so that at least I can zoom in and we can see. All right. All I do know is that that is not a vortex. That is not a vortex because it gets smaller. And as we go down, it's now become some kind of weird double vortex. So, 
There we go. One non vortex. Proven that there is no vortex on a magnet because it gets bigger the closer you get to the face. So there we go. Let's do a bit of angling because we can. I don't know if you're going to see it, but I'm just playing around. But yeah, 